Um, so here we're waiting for the start of the race. Uh, they will start when the umpire has raised the flag. And there we go, we're off. So there's the start. Isis Boat Club on the left of your picture, racing University of Washington in the heat of the Temple Challenge Cup. Both these crews raced yesterday. Temple had uh, a row fairly straightforwardly to come through to this contest up against Isis. Yeah, and this is a strong crew for, for the Huskies. Uh, this is a combination of their uh, second and first boats, uh, boat uh, doing very well at the IRA Championships in the United States, which is our uh, intercollegiate championship. Yeah, Sean Bowden, the great uh, Oxford. This is a reverse angle right from the end of the course. Wow, what a shot. You can see the steering markers and you can see the umpire's launch. And that is a fantastic shot, which you very rarely see. Great, isn't it, Akil? Yeah, I love the way you can see the umpire's boat right down the middle. You can see both crews, the bows of both crews, as they're pushing through, uh, trying to get to that barrier, trying to establish a rhythm that they can maintain through the rest of the race. So we're riding with the Huskies now. That's the nickname for Washington, or the dogs, if you prefer. If you're watching this on the west coast of the USA, welcome. We hope you're enjoying this program. We hope you're enjoying your boys being out in front of Oxford, the guys from Oxford University. But uh, Akil, you've got something you'd like to say. Oh yeah, I was just saying that that was a great shot of uh, Maximilian Mason, uh, the stroke. Uh, he was 2021 uh, 3V IRA National Championship. And 2023, was uh, he was in the, the silver medal boat for the IRAs in the 2V. Yeah, there he is, right on cue, Akil, for you. Kieran Joyce is back, the coxswain, he looks across to Oxford and he'll know he's got the lead on them. But this Washington crew, mix of the 1V and 2V, they, they've had all of this season behind Cal Barkley, the yeah. Bears. They, they've had to come in in second place in, in the Pac-12 championships and also in the IRAs, effectively the national championships of East and West. Yeah. It must, it must be a relief for them to come to Henley. <laughs> Well, you know, it's always nice to face a different crew. They're going to have a stiff challenge here. But, you know, I think these, these boys have been training hard. Uh, and it'll be interesting see if, to see if this mixture of the 1V uh, and the 2V uh, can prevail here today. Well, the winner of this contest, whoever does get through, and it looks like it'll be the Washington crew on the left of your picture, they will actually race Cornell in the next round, who had that fantastic battle with Durham, which was your first commentary racer Henley Regatta Akil. This is true and uh, it will be a, a, a US race so I'm not sure who I'm going to cheer for in that race but uh, I, I, I'm hoping it'll be a good one if the outcome uh, sort of stays the same here. And what I love about this shot as yeah. we're going down the Henley Reach is that the boys in the boat which is a book that so many people non rowers have read about the legendary 1936 University of Washington crew that took gold in Berlin. Uh, it's not spoiling the book to tell you that. Read the book and you'll, you'll be amazed that they win the way it's written. It's fantastic. But they filmed it. George Clooney, who's directing it, filmed it opposite Upper Thames. They based the Upper Thames Rowing Club, which the Washington crew is just rowing past now. Yeah. The film, I gather, is out in November. Go and see it because it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and you know, for me, this is one of my favorite shots of, in, in rowing here. You can really see the, the sinewy muscles of the athletes. You can see them getting out long. You can see those strokes, and you can really see the power that the athletes have. So there's the men from ISIS, coached by the great Sean Bowden. And this is a really important part of Bowden's project to construct a really strong squad for the 2024 boat race. And these guys, I guess, will figure in that contest. So as part of that, to build uh, the depth of the of the squad there, to, to yeah. be able to, to really have uh, a great pool of athletes yeah. to choose from. He, he wants the competition in the yeah. squad, and he wants athletes to show themselves, you know, to make themselves vulnerable. It's great, you know, experience for these guys from Oxford to go up against you know the, the might of the university like Washington who are now in cruise control. Yeah and you can see here they've taken it down a little bit. They're really powering through uh, trying to be efficient with each stroke uh, but you can see the the relaxation on on uh, Maximilian's face there um, as he gives a word to the coxswain and just sets their plan to just like let's hold steady. 
let's keep pace. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting because, you know, if these guys do win and they race Cornell, how much will it impact that contest that Washington have kind of had an easy paddle in this race against Isis and Cornell had a gut buster against Durham? Well, you know, that's that's the that's the beauty of Henley. You, <laughs> at some point, you're going to race someone fast and you never know which day it is. And so, uh, you know, I think that it could have an outcome. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they'll both have a day to relax and rest. OK, so this is the closing stages of the Temple Challenge Cup. It's a race between Isis Boat Club and we're looking now at those the husky marvelous eyes. crew from the Huskies. Oh, that, are they Husky Eyes? That is so cool looking. I didn't, I wondered what that was because I commentated on them yesterday. And yeah. that, that is a Husky dog. Yeah, there you go. That is so cool. Wicked, absolutely wicked. So all you Huskies watching in the States, whether you're on the East Coast in the middle or on the West Coast, <laughs> We'll have known what that is, and I've just been explained by uh, my co-commentator, Akhil Abdullah. Yeah, and there you have a shot of uh, Maxwell Hyde. He's 22 in the bow seat, uh, national champion in the 2021 uh, UW uh, 3D. So Mike Callahan's done a great job of molding these guys together because they raced in the 1V or 2V or 3V8s for the national championships just a month or so ago back in the States. And you can see the cohesion that they've had. You can see how easily they're taking it, you know, right in the mid-20s as they come up to the finish line. The University of Washington from the west coast of the USA take that heat of the Temple Challenge Cup from Isis Boat Club, effectively Oxford University from GB. Confirmation, University of Washington, the ISIS Boat Club in the heat of the Temple Challenge Cup.